Hello ladies and gentlemen and thank you so so much for clicking on this video. Uh, in this video I will be showing you an updated guide of how to use shadow play and how to record your gameplay. Uh, my last video was about a year old and some of the features were getting a bit old and out of date and a lot of people requested a new video so I'm going to do that today. Um, if you don't know shadow play is one of the newest ways to record gameplay. It's probably the best way in my opinion. You can record in 60 frames and up to 1080p and while you're in-game recording it doesn't make you drop frames and lag. So that's probably why I think it's personally one of the best, oh sorry, it is the best uh, software for recording in-game footage. So we're just going to open it up right here. I'll obviously include a link to the description to download it. To use the uh, Shadowplay feature of GeForce Experience you do need a GPX, sorry, GTX GPU in the 600 series or higher. Unfortunately, if you have anything lower than that, you can't use this program and it is probably uh, up time for an upgrade anyway as you probably won't be able to play most modern games on them. So as you can see, I've opened up the program. There's five tabs and we're going to quickly run through those. Now the games tab, this is a list of all the games on your computer that are compatible with Shadowplay. Unfortunately, if games aren't able to be added to this list, they aren't, uh, they're not up for recording with Shadowplay. So unfortunately, if you have a really favorite game that you just can't add to this list, you can't record it. So I'll show you how to add games to this list uh, later in the video. So we'll go to the next tab, Drivers. Now for Shadowplay to work, you have to be updated to the latest drivers. One of the awesome things about GeForce Experience is that you can, it automatically updates your uh, GPU drivers if you set it to, and I have as well, or you can do it manually on this tab by clicking here, check for updates and that will automatically uh, scan your computer and update your GPU, which I think is pretty awesome. Now this third tab, Rig, uh, it kind of just gives your computer specs and an overall uh, view of the compatibility with Shadowplay and things like that. So that's not too important and neither is the Shield tab. It's about streaming uh, your gameplay to different devices around your house, so we're not going to look at that today. So this is the most important tab, Preferences. Now there's four sort of inner tabs in this tab. So we're going to go to General. now. In the general tab, you can check for updates for the GeForce Experience. Most of the time it does it automatically, but if you do think you're out of date, you can do it here, just by clicking here. And these are just some options you can set. Uh, obviously, like I just said before, you can set it to download drivers automatically, and just some other things for personal preference, which I have ticked off. Now, this is where you can add games to your Steam li library to be able to be recorded. You just click this Check Now button, it'll scan your computer, then all the games that are compatible on your computer will show in a list here. Uh, all these options here are pretty arbitrary and they don't really need to be looked at. Now this is where we can actually set the settings for Shadowplay. We have camera here if you're looking to record uh, your webcam, which I don't, so I have that turned off. Status indicator. Now this is an in-game indication of if you're recording or not and it shows you um, if when your game's footage has been saved and things like that. FPS counter, you can turn this on, I have it off. This is just an in-game indicator of your FPS. Now, microphone, if you're looking to record voice in-game, which you probably are for some projects, then I would put that as always on. Uh, and just some keyboard shortcuts here, which you can, I've set to personal preference. Uh, these are mine, you can copy these if you want, or you can make up your own, no biggie. Uh, then, this is just where you set your file to be saved. So this is pretty basic stuff. Um, most, most of you guys, I'm guessing, are quite tech savvy so you should be able to figure this stuff out for yourselves. Now to actually record uh, gameplay we're going to click on this button up here. Now if this button is greyed out this means your drivers aren't up to date so go ahead and update those. So we're going to click this button. When you start the program for the first time this little pop-up should be off this light switch you want to click that on and we're just going to run through a few settings. Now mode just leave that as the top one. Shadow time anywhere on there. Quality if you have a lower end gaming PC I recommend put it on medium. I have mine on high. Try not to put it on low, otherwise your footage will come out quite uh, choppy and scrappy and you don't really want that. Audio, uh, in-game microphone, yes, I want that. And yeah, so we're just going to, oh, I do not want to press that. Now, so once we have these two tabs open, we can just minimize these. And I'm going to switch to some gameplay, I'm going to show you how the recording works. So I'll see you in a second, guys. Okay, so now that we're in-game, I assume that you've added this game to your GeForce Experience game library and that it is compatible to be recorded. Uh, you'll know this by the status indicator in the bottom right or wherever you've set it to. It's that small grey box with a circle in the middle. So to start recording, all you want to do is hit that hotkey that you assigned earlier. I can't remember what it is by default. So make sure you set that something that you remember and something that doesn't conflict with in-game controls. 
So as I said, start recording, hit that hotkey, and that status indicator will come up as a green circle, that means you are recording, and any voice chat and any in-game noise and footage that you do is being recorded. Uh, so to save this file, once you're done recording, you can record for as long as you want. Uh, to save this, press the same hotkey again, and that symbol will change to an arrow pointing downwards, that means it's saving. So that's pretty much it for this video, it's pretty basic. Um, Thanks guys for watching, uh, that's really it. So uh, I would appreciate some love and some likes. Uh, tell me what I did wrong, tell me what I did right, and that would be awesome. So thanks guys for watching.